Hi, this is Todd Howard of Bethesda Game Studios, and we're here to show you a sneak peek at our latest game, Skyrim. Each time we do a new Elder Scrolls game, we like to start fresh, and Skyrim is no different. Coming off of Oblivion, and then the team did Fallout 3, we had a huge list of things we knew we wanted to do technically with the current generation of hardware and PCs to bring a virtual fantasy world to life. So we've rewritten the render, we've rewritten all the gameplay, the scripting language, the faces, the foliage, and all this comes together in our new engine we call the Creation Engine. So we're interested in all the little details like this plant here, the medium details of these logs and trees, and all the way up to distant mountains. And if you've played our previous stuff, you know that mountain is not just a backdrop. You can walk all the way to the top of that mountain. And it's a huge world. Like our previous games, you can create any kind of character you want and then go do what you want. The game's primarily designed as a first-person game, but you can also play in third-person. Our big motto for Skyrim is, you are who you play. So whatever you have in your hands, or whatever you're using, you're gonna get better at, and then you're gonna level up. The right trigger does your right hand, and the left trigger does your left hand. And you could put either a weapon or a spell. You can also dual wield spells. And what's really cool here is, if you put the same spell in both hands and pull both triggers, you can get a bigger, more powerful version of that spell. Up here we have Standing Stones. There are 13 of these throughout Skyrim's landscape, and they give you special abilities, but you can only have one of these active at a time. This is your character menu. Here you can see all your items, not just what they do stat-wise, but also what they look like. Each of the thousands of objects you can find can be zoomed in, rotated, and looked at in high detail. With the skills menu, you look to the heavens, and here you can see all of your skills, how they're progressing, and as your skills increase, you'll push yourself to leveling up. The higher the skill, the more it affects your level progress. And when you level up, you get to pick a perk. Each of these skills has its own perk tree. As you develop your character, it's like the game is drawing this custom constellation for who you are. Lastly, we have the map, and we're just going to pull the camera back here and show you how the level of detail system works in the game. We're just rendering the whole world. A 
dragon. I saw a dragon. What? What is it now, mother? Made every day we get visitors in Riverwood. Gerda's family first settled here as woodcutters a few generations ago. She and Hod run the mill. I make a decent living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. Here for work? Get an axe. And bring me all the wood you can chop. This mountain here is the tallest mountain in Skyrim. It's called the Throat of the World. It is home to the Greybeards, who are masters of the voice. The voice is the ability to use the language of dragons and form these magical shouts. And this is a power that you will learn throughout Skyrim's main quest. inside Bleak Falls Barrow. It's an ancient Nordic ruin. Long ago, the Nords of Skyrim worshipped dragons in temples like this, and it's one of our over 150 handcrafted dungeons in the game. That dark elf wants to go on ahead, let him. Better than us whisking <laughs> What if Orville doesn't come back?
me down! It's coming loose. I can feel it! You fool! Why should I share the treasure with anyone? This is the Hall of Stories, an ancient passageway where the Nords would process their dead on their way to Sovngarde, which is our version of Valhalla, or the Heaven for Heroes. So our dungeons do have puzzles once in a while, and this puzzle is a simple matching one. The solution to this particular puzzle is etched on the key itself.
up here is a word wall where you can learn the dragon words of power. Now I've learned this word of power, and I can unlock the ability to use those as shouts by absorbing dragon souls. Bell is clairvoyance and it will draw a path to my nearest objective. Now come out the other side of the mountain to Skyrim's tundra. In the distance you can see the city of Whiterun, which is home to the Companions, our warrior faction in the game. We also have the Thieves Guild, the College of Winterhold for Mages, and of course the Dark Brotherhood. the dragon soul I've collected to unlock the final word of storm call which is going to rain lightning down on my enemies Run for it. 